this Protoss player who's spawning in the lower left hand corner of inside and out. It is Fork. Oh man, I forgot the middle mouse button on my mouse is struggling. His opponent in the upper right hand corner. We know him, we love him for prep esports. Tanwano. One of the most creative new uh, Terrans to uh, play the Vigi game. But uh, keeping the barracks at home this game. Everything looking pretty normal to start us off. I'm actually surprised the middle mouse button seems to be working pretty well. When I, uh, like, want to open something in a new tab, you know, I'll do the, like, middle mouse click in Chrome. Uh, and lately it's been working very seldomly. Which is a bit unfortunate. Because it's a very useful thing to have and they'll probably need to get a new mouse fairly soon question is what will I get I think they came out with a, a version 3 of the death adder so I might look into that Exciting here. I think Hanmano skipped a Reaper. Yeah, no Reaper or anything, just straight into the uh, to the reactor on this barracks. So we're gonna be getting into double marine. I'm trying to remember the changes. I feel like I should bring up the patch notes. But it's it's almost more fun to just not remember what they are at all. Um, because I really don't. I really there's so many changes on the PTR right now. PTR, of course, standing for Patch Test Region. So this is actually a mod that we're using here. We're not playing on the, the, the PTR server. This is a mod that includes all the changes. So you can play custom games uh, with the mods, or with the uh, with the recent changes added in-game. Be interested to see if this changes any play style so far. Nothing looks too crazy. Hanmano's build feels weird to me, but I don't know if that's related to the change. I feel like it's not. I feel like this is just Hanmana's build being weird. Marines walking across the map. They did take out one of those adepts, so there's literally just one adept here for Fork. Uh, the Oracle pops out. Pretty sure with the Adept, this Oracle can kill all of this. With the Shield Battery, this Oracle can definitely kill all of this. Not a problem at all. A couple of Hellions showing up, though. And this Oracle just used a bunch of its energy, so it's not going to have much juice left. As the second Adept comes down, I feel like this isn't going to get much done here from Han Mono. At least not for now. Looks like two more Hellions running across the map and Stim coming up behind this. Meanwhile, on Fork's side of the base, second Oracle is out. Oh, I like this. Oracle's going to try to focus down the Hellions because those are the real damage dealers here. Trying to get the probe shots, not quite getting them. Meanwhile, the Marines killed one Adept. So that was not a very good trade for the Terran. Two adepts in total. Does get a couple of probes here. But that was four Hellions for that. And a lot of that early game production going towards... Eh, not, not really anything at all. Fork's going to be quite happy with that. And killing those Hellions, sending those Marines away, means that he can take this third base very easily now. And Han Mono has to be super uh, defensive against the Oracles. There's a couple of oracles out, and they can really do damage. They can do a lot of damage.
We're going to follow this up with a Robo Bay. Nothing too, too crazy there. I'm trying to think of like what the, the changes were. I'm going to look it up. Number 7th, 2022. This is it. All right. Okay, so here's here's a big one. The shield battery uh, overcharge rate has decreased. So you can use overcharge. You can't use it a second time quite as quickly. I don't know, we'll see if that comes into play here as Han Mono is doing a nice little push. There are a couple of immortals at the, hot, the top of this ramp, but I don't think Han Mono, or I don't think Fork is ready for this. Gonna pull the probes. Shield battery goes down immediately. I guess the overcharge rate will not matter. Tanks focus firing those immortals out and uh, doing a lot of damage to them. All the probes gonna die here. Colossus does pop. Without Thermal Lance, it's not nearly as scary against these siege tanks. The mortal's gonna go back in. Their shields are not ready yet, though. And I feel like that's a big deal. Stim is done for these Marines, and they're just gunning down the probes. Tanks look like they will get taken down, but Looks like just about everything else here for Fork is gone as well. Somehow this uh, Immortal staying alive a very long time, but Shield did come back online there at the end. Stalker's getting warped in now, but they do not have Blink. And this Colossus may never get out. On Mono gonna keep reinforcing. Uh, friendly reminder, there were SCVs in that push, so killing a lot of probes is excellent, but on three bases here, Fork can remake those. The only problem is He's only got 22, which is very, very few. So as Han Mono pulls back, he's up a lot of workers. This third base is not very far away from being done. And if he just keeps on producing here, I think he's going to be in a great spot. So far, I'm trying to think of what has, uh, what has come out that is really affected by the patch. And it's actually like nothing. Yeah, so far, nothing that's been built uh, is relevant in the patch. That Colossus did come out. It's actually very important because it's the, the Robo Bay died, and Fort can't afford to rebuild that right now. So this Colossus is going to be kind of a big deal. Mahan Mono in a great spot. I'm gonna go ahead and take that third. Uh, has been continuing to produce SCVs. Took in Maynard uh, almost a full mineral line over. Right as that base lands. Zealot's warping in here as charge finishes up for fork. I like the idea of going for charge. I think that's a solid play when you're you know, not you don't have a lot of mining opportunities. Pulling completely off of gas, or almost completely off of gas, and going for as many charge lots as you can. Pretty, pretty solid plan. I gotta be honest, especially since Han Mono went back into a couple of tanks and has been going into Marauders to counter the uh, Colossi and the Stalkers. The Zealots have a chance to do really, really nicely here. The Phoenix is gonna come over and see that there isn't much here just in time for this double drop to hit the main and man fork's army is so far out of position it looks like he's gonna pull the trigger and go across the map but han mono will have some time to reinforce as more units pop out and in the meantime the main nexus is going down han is gonna pick up and get out of there but i feel like he actually just needs to stay there and deep power gateways and things and just do his best to defend back at home. This CC is gonna try to go down, immediately gets killed. It's 400 minerals down the drain. Very big deal. SCV is coming off the line to fight here as the Marines and Marauders stutter step backwards. But again, very Marauder heavy in these tanks. None of that's helping against the charge lots, really. A lot of those units gonna get picked up and pulled back into the main base. Ghosts coming out now. Those are gonna be massive. The uh, EMP change actually going to positively affect Han Mono here. So those ghosts come out with a better EMP than they used to. They don't have the ability to upgrade that EMP anymore. 
but that's uh, not really going to be super relevant here. Marauders targeting down the Colossus. Great job there by Hanmano. No thermal lance on that bad boy. And these ghosts are just going to chew through the rest of this. Even without EMPs or anything, they are just very tanky little units. And that army is dead, and Fork is dead. No army left. GG getting called there. A lot of SCVs went down, but it just doesn't quite on mono gonna take game number one very back and forth game very solid game there solid indeed yeah so there we go the only thing that really affected anything was uh the ghost coming out i don't know if we even saw an emp though so He invites a game too. And we're going to waterfall. Don't go chasing waterfalls. <clears throat> Spawning in the lower left hand corner of this lovely TLC map. It is the Green Terran for Prep Esports. On mono. His opponent in the upper right hand corner is the Red Protoss Fork. Representing cutlery everywhere. That was a very solid game between these two. I'm uh, interested if we'll see any cheeky builds from Han Mono. The Marines and Hellions last game was a, was a cool idea. It was able to kill the Adept, but it's a solid defense from Fork, and the Hellions really didn't do much. And then I'm not being that great of an opening for the Terran. Of course, the follow-up push ended up working quite well for him, but I just wonder if we're going to see anything else fun and exciting here. Skirt, skirt. What's up, Rocky? Man, I just got a wave of the tireds. It's so weird to me that the uh, animation of this building is blocked by the texture. What is this SCV doing here? SCV just hanging out on the high ground? really build anything here that would be useful. Guess it could just want to uh to scout. Stalker gets pushed away by the mariners. Yeah and SCV just gonna scout just wants to see what the first tech building is. Might even be able to sneak out of there. Look at that. Sentries. Oh my god, it turned around. SCV got bold. Too bold. I like the uh, the little cheese spray here by Han Mono as well. Orc 
We're spotting this move out. There isn't much here, and that's the hallucinated oracle, so the sentry is out of juice. A couple of those marines do go down. What are they focusing now? They're going to try to get the uh, the stalker kill. Ah, but now the probes are fighting the Hellion. Super shield battery turns on. I'm going to go ahead and save those probes. Blink is on the way here for Fork. It looks like more Hellions showing up. I don't think they're going to break through, though. Even though the shield battery is out of range of the uh, unit in the wall. Uh, so this is the exact same build from Hanmano. Not throwing away the Hellions is really nice. But I don't know if they're really going to be able to get too much done. Hopefully just a little scouting for Hanmano and maybe they could be useful in a fight. Or we could try to... Uh, I was going to say drop them in the base, but he has no starport. So probably they'll just help with the push. Uh, trying to sneak in again. Looks like maybe they won't be so helpful with the push after all. As uh, they're all just going to die. Oop. Like the turret here from Hanmano. That's the you could just build Dark Templar turret. Alright, is the same push from Hanmano. I feel like this is even more SCVs this time. Fork holding the high ground, Blink Stalkers here. Oh man, really putting the hurt on these Marines before the tanks even siege up. Shield battery finishing up now. That is a great start to the defense for Fork. Hanmon gonna try to move around the top side. Super shield battery turns on for Fork as he wants to go engage. It ends up kind of being a waste and with the uh, extra length of time before that can be used again. That's a real problem. Marines diving into the natural, uh, but really getting nothing done. Going to kill the pylon in here. No heals on that from the, the shield battery, so it does go down. Stim is done for these Marines. Han Mono so far is choosing not to use it. Man, these units just getting clobbered as they try to come down. Probes coming off the line, but they are just getting absolutely blasted. And nothing from the side either. So these tanks doing so much work from the back. This is looking very good for Hanmano. Even better than last game, dare I say it. Because I just don't think Fork has a way to clear this out. He's going to try to dive onto this now, but... Without the chunkiness of the immortal shots, he just can't clear those tanks. And he's at eight army supply against 40. Han Mono stepping forward with these units, sieging up in the natural. And I think that's gonna be a dead nexus pretty soon. Drops a mule. Oh, it's a repair mule. Oh, sure. It was definitely meant to be a repair mule. Not dropping that mule for any other reason. Definitely for sure. Um, I don't really see a way for Fork out of this. It just doesn't doesn't feel like it's going to work for him. I'm trying to warp it in the main, but... We'll see. He might be able to clear this. Marines find a nice little spot. With Stim, they do kind of chew through these. 
Siege tank unseaging. So they can take a better fight. Pon Mono now up 60 supply over his opponent. And I think uh, I think that just about does it for us here. It looks like Han Mano's going to take the 2-0. Yeah, this set of charge lots looks like it will clear this, but it's still pretty painful for Fork. And Han Mano is totally fine with that trade. Got a whole nother army in his natural. Oh, sorry. Mm. I had to uh, be quiet there for a moment, but. I think this game's pretty much over as the Marines stim in the main. Super Shield Battery turns on, but it dies immediately. Charge Lots come up, but the Charge Lots don't actually win this fight. Hate to, I hate to tell you guys, Fork is very, very dead. Two Archons show up. Oh, here's another change. Archons can now fit through uh, single space gaps, so they'll actually be able to fit through here. Not that they want to go that way, but they can. Kinda cool. All right, the two Archons and the single Zealot gonna walk across the map. Can they crack this army? I mean, these three units over here, they might be able to crack. Oh, look at them go. If they're like 87, probably not so much. GG gonna get called there as Han Mono takes the 2-0.